Hi, I'm the Flower God. We're going to continue on with some Easter baskets. This is a little Easter cart, a little chocolate bunny. We're going to use yellow daisies, lavender daisies, lavender and pink stock, some peach tulips, blue delphinium, and these are called Tanga Vanga. Pink rose, kind of a bubblegum pink. We're going to start off with a little bit of the delphinium. Give it a little bit of height. And I'm just going to drop down in stages just to balance out for the cart. And normally when you're doing a, a tall arrangement in a basket or a vase, you want to go at least one and a half times above the container. So this would be about one time, then you got to have a big one and a half times. That's just a concept that you could use to, to balance out your arrangements. Now I have some tulips. I'm going to leave these up a little bit taller. And when these bloom out, they're going to be beautiful. And I don't throw a lot of things away. I even try and use a lot of the foliage just as an accent piece to your floral arrangements. Even with the, the iris and tulips, they have a a different texture to the foliage and just adds a little bit to it, gives it a little, little bit of different shape. I'm going to add some of the stock. And I've already prepared my container by adding my floral foam, my greens. I did a little pre-prep. I greened it first. A little bit of leather fern. I just covered my mechanics. Went through with my plumosa, give it a little light, airy feel. And now I'm adding the flowers to it. And I'm just going to make this all around. You could use this just about anywhere. And some different shades of the stock and the paint color here. And all I'm doing is cutting my stems at a point so they go into the floral foam. It makes it a lot easier to go in. Pull your, some of your foliage off so the stem actually goes into the, the floral foam. This is not quite a roundy moundy like a lot of people think, where everything is perfectly symmetric. This gives you a lot of little laterals that came out, give you a different balance of your textures and your flowers. Now I'm going to take my laterals off, my daisies, and that's little side branches that have all the flowers on them. That way you can make all your flowers go a little bit longer. You could have more flowers to it rather than cluster them all in one cluster. And again, I'm just going to place these all over to bring the color to every aspect of the bouquet. Now you can kind of see that yellow is starting to make this a little bit brighter, pulling all the colors together your yellows, your blues, your lavenders, your pinks. Real eastery look. And again, I always use my buds because they will open up. I'm going to add a couple of stems, probably one stem of the lavender daisies just to bring out a little bit more of the lavender in it. Again, sharpen your stems. Makes it a lot easier to go in. And that's why I use a knife. It gives you a little bit sharper point rather than using a lot of cutters. The cutters, to me, you can cut a sharp point on it, but it just isn't the same as using a knife. But you have to be very careful with a knife because knives are sharp. You don't want to cut yourself. Okay, now I'm going to add some of the Tango Vanga roses. I've got some that are opened up really pretty. I'm going to cut these off real short. And I'm just going to cluster them down low. And these are a beautiful rose. When they open up, they just get bigger and bigger. So what I'm going to do is keep them low. That way the roses will last longer. Instead of letting the heads wilt like this, it keeps the, the flower firm and keeps it pulled together. 
and they just get more open, fill this, this space up. Holy moly! <laughs> Sorry about that, got a little carried away there. But if you notice that nothing broke, it just everything's in there secured. My last rows in here. Clean up my mess. Wow, that's gonna be a good outtake. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna mist everything down with my water. And we're gonna do a little close up here, give you an idea of what your bouquet looks like from all sides. And again, sorry for the little flip over. But again, you can see that the bouquet held together. You could almost take this and throw it across the room. It still, still looked just as pretty. There you go.